Hi guys and welcome back to my latest video. Today I am doing a video on things that patients do that drive me crazy. And I actually reached out to you guys on my Instagram to send me things that patients do that make you crazy to add to my list. So these are things that you guys have sent to me and some ideas of my own. And just a little disclaimer, I'm tired of doing these at the beginning of videos, but there's so many sensitive people out there that are literally going to get very offended by this video. So this video is meant to be in good humor and funny and not intended to offend anyone. So if you get offended easily, then probably don't want to watch it. Okay, let's just start off with an obvious one here. It drives me crazy when patients use their call button every five seconds like literally you're just in their room you walk out and you hear that bell or beep or whatever sound your call light is and you just know it's your patient again calling you and you don't want to like look and see that bright light above their room because you just you know it's them for the 52nd time on the shift and then to add to that I don't know what's worse them calling every five minutes or them yelling out nurse nurse or even worse like yelling your name because then everyone's looking at you like why aren't you going to help them or when they yell nurse and they're banging on the side rails because they're like trying to make more noise it's like we hear you my favorites when they're wearing a bipap and they're trying to yell nurse and it sounds like arr, arr. it muffles it a little bit so it's not as loud Shh, we're gonna put your bipap back on now so we can't hear you yelling just kidding don't do that the next thing that drives me crazy is when patients rip things out like your IV, your Foley, your central line. Like, do you know that could kill you? Or maybe it's a new dressing you just put on and it took you 30 minutes to do and they decide to rip it off. Why? I don't know. Another thing that drives me crazy are when patients complain about a previous nurse. It's like, look, I'm sorry you had a rough experience the past 12 hours, but I'm a new person, so let's just Let's just move on. And to tag onto that, it drives me crazy when patients are manipulative on purpose because they're trying to play one nurse against another and they'll bad talk one nurse and then you're, you're their best friend and then they'll bad talk the next person and they're bad talking you but there's someone else's best friend. It just gets complicated. Next thing is when patients purposefully, keyword, purposefully shit themselves. Yes, I didn't even realize this was a thing until I became a nurse that people will just be too lazy and take advantage of the fact that they have someone there to clean them up will shit themselves. And if we're in that situation, you will bet that we will be having a serious talk about how things happen at home and how things are happening in the hospital. And just going along with this whole poop fest drives me crazy when patients play in their own poop. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about the patients that have dementia or are confused. I mean, yes, that does drive you crazy still a little bit because you're like, why, why? But like people that are purposely doing things just to get attention <laughs> and make your life difficult, like seriously, why are you playing in poop? Why are you smearing it all over yourself in your stage four pressure ulcer that's on your bottom, on the side rails? I said, come on. The next thing that drives me crazy is when a provider tells a patient that they're going to get discharged today, but then the patient thinks that means like, right this second and they are taking out their IVs, they're packing up their stuff, and you're like, whoa, 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 <laughs> you know this is a process, this isn't like you just get discharged immediately. The next thing that drives me crazy is when patients drop their pills all over them, like you're trying to let them be independent and take them on their own, but then you give them the cup and they just drop them all over into the bed and you're like, <sighs> or even worse is when maybe you crushed up all their pills or you give them all their pills and they put them in their mouth and then they spit them out and you're like what are you doing why are you spitting these pills out especially when they've got like 25 meds that you just crushed and you don't know which which meds they've gotten and which meds they didn't get because it's just one big powdery mess the next thing is when patients refuse everything like literally everything but then they won't sign out AMA if this is my patient we will be having a talk about why we are actually here right now and what we foresee us getting out of this hospital stay and experience because if you're going to refuse everything that medical professionals recommend, then, then why are you here? The next thing that drives me crazy, and maybe this makes me sound like a cold-hearted person, but hear me out, is when patients cry for like the bajillionth time. Now, 
I can handle a little crying. I know people are emotional and I'm happy to be there for you. I'm talking about the persistent crying where we're not getting anywhere and they just always want you in the room to like rub their head and back and you're like, I just, I'm so busy. Like I want to be here for you, but like I, I can't, you know, you've been crying for 12 hours. The next thing is when your patient is complaining about a bajillion things about their health, but when the doctor walks in, everything is magically fine. Or on the flip side, when patients don't complain about anything, and then the doctor walks in and suddenly they have chest pain, they've got weakness in one arm, and you're like, I swear this was not just going on like two seconds ago before you walked in. I also don't like when patients complain about little tiny things, especially for while I'm in the ICU. like. You know, your food is cold, or you didn't like the bread that you got, or the seventh warm blanket that I brought you is not w as warm as the sixth blanket that I brought you. And I just think that people lose perspective on like why they are actually in the hospital, and especially in the ICU, like people are really, really sick. And in the room next door to me, on my other patient, they are dying, and you're in here complaining that you are still cold because I didn't bring you a warm enough blanket. And the last thing, and there's, you know, so many more things that drive us crazy, but I'm just gonna wrap it up with this, is when patients complain to their family members things that you haven't done for them, that you actually have done for them, like giving them a bath, brush their teeth, things like that, and they make it look like you've been neglecting them for days, when yes, they have gotten their bath, they've brushed their teeth, and you're like, what are we doing here? What, what do you want out of this? Anyways, guys, I hope you understand this video was in good humor. Thank you for all those who sent me suggestions on things um, to say in this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.